Alright guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some post-Moogle quests. Um, we're in the lower decks in uh, Limsa at 10-11, next to the deputy post-Moogle. Now, this is the first quest of the story for the Moogle post-masters, so let's do it. The first one's going to be called a Debt Unpaid. If it isn't my new Vic... Mm, Promising you recruit the twinkle in your eyes and spring in your steps. Simply shout out to me. I'm ready for my first assignment, Mr. Deputy Post Moogle. Sir, do you hear that? Do I hear you correctly, Koopa? Of course I do. Well, this is your lucky day, for I have picked out what should prove the perfect task to start off your training. To wait, I have here in my pause a letter that needs delivering to Bardon, proprietor of the Drowning Wench. Simple task, you say? Perhaps, and perhaps not. For a delivery of Moogle's task does not end with the heading of, over of a piece of parchment. No, the conscientious carrier lends his ears to the addressee and sees the job through until the customer is happy for whatever has been received. Being the accomplished and intimately visible adventurer that you are, I suspect that your clients will be even more eager to enlist your services than they would with an elusive Moogle like myself. Consider this an honor and a privilege, Koopa. As the one in charge of your training, I shall wait for you here for your word of success. You will succeed, won't you, Koopa? <laughs> Alrighty, let's see where we're going. We're going to Drowning Wench. It's in the upper deck, so it's right here. Ah, now our FA always warns me to see ever a shining sample of all the would-be heroes and heroines in these alls. Hmm? You letter for me, you say? Letter for him. Would have figured you more pressing tasks on your plate than play messenger boy, but who am I to? What's this? <laughs> of all times, I'm showing. I'm to show up. It's to burden you, but be obliged if you could help me with a simple task. Sure. I know I could count on you. You at the moment, I saw your face and knew the navigator guide you back for a reason. To sell, help me settle a score with an old acquaintance of mine. I, the man who worked up quite a bill and it's past time for a reckoning. You're to find the bastard and bring him to old Barden. Can't trust you with that. Find him in the middle of Lenosha, a Rodigan, follow of his imposing stature and his imposing brains. Like, as not up to trouble of some sort. Speak to... I can't say that. That's, is that even a word? Anyways, before you set out, she's prepared the perfect welcome gift for her old dear mate. Okay. Oh, it is a person. Alright. How would you say that? I don't know. So you're the adventure going out to greet our guest of honor, are you? Bardaran hasn't told me much about the man, but his steely gaze speaks volumes. As you know, Bardaran was an accomplished sellsword in his young days. Man, his share of friends and more uh, than his share of foes. And the latter are none too shy about bringing trouble onto his premise. A Rodgen fellow in the middle of Lenosha, was it? Ah, but I'll pry no further. One thing I've learned in my time here is not to poke my nose in disputes that don't involve me. Here is a gift Bardaran asked me to prepare. I trust that it will serve you well. Okay.
So far this quest is pretty straightforward. Mula. Be evil. Get me to trouble. There he is. Quit your cowering. I ain't look to. Oh my god, he's drunk. An adventurer, thank the gods. This brute me means to rob me of my li livelihood. You must stop him. Oh, this is this one? Ice cold water. Alright, you asking for it. Oh, he's drunk. He's so drunk. You're a godson, friend, I tell you. That brew is a menace to honest merchant everywhere. You will find him and bring him to justice, yes? Probably. He took off. <coughs> Where are you? Oh, he's right there. Passed out. <laughs> have mercy, man. I didn't mean no harm. I just have feed too many. And old foe of Bargerons. Ain't that rich. I'm the best bloody mate the old bastard ever known, whether he's willing to admit it or not. Okay. Name's Tysluin. I sell sword for of some repute myself, though more for for me prowls with a flagon of ale than the spear of my back. No, you'll not see me blabbing, Bardon, nor you, of course, for the soggy welcome. I dare say I earned it on my last trip to the wench. As a matter of fact, I've been brought by the rounds and small talking of, of apology. Just me saying sorry for all the trouble I stirred up. What bother me to send Helsen back again? I left the bloody back back at the Munsford Arms, was it? Forgive me, lad. My memories are still a bit hazy. I'll go back and search myself, but in addition to not knowing quite where I came from, still feeling a touch queasy. Be a good lad and retrace my steps for me, will you? With any luck, the fellow there, damn if I can remember his name, is keeping my belongings safe and sound. Okay. Where are we going? Back to summer, f summer Ford Farms. <coughs> do 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 do. There's this guy. Hello, stranger. What brings an impressive-looking young lad like yourself to my humble orchard? That bloody drunkard. Of course, I remember him. How could I not? Left his mark all over. The bending on floor, Af and after th this, I went out of my way to furnish his room with the proper spitting box. His belongings, I had my, my hands plenty full cleaning up his foul spew. He left anything else behind, like as not, it's still there. You're more than welcome to explore. I suggest you watch your step and hold your nose. <laughs> uh oh, he threw up everywhere. I'm gonna go back. All the way back there. Guardy, did he happen upon my belongings, mayhap? Just a small satchel, nothing too fancy. Yeah, I got her. A little bag. But brilliant. Hey, from the moment you doused me with that white stuff, I knew I had made myself a friend. 
Don't know about you, but after all my troubles today, I've worked up quite a thirst. Will you join me at the winch? First pints on Badron. Oh my god. Alright, back to the drowning wench. Welcome back, Akinil. Yeah, my apologies for getting you yeah, mixed up in these dealings of a couple of cell swords. I hey, have a pint of my pint of my finest, and regardless of what you may what I've told you, Tywin's paying for all commerce tonight, including your strilling. You've not changed the wit, Bart. Badron, shit, things, bloody bastard. Oh, sounds like he's drunk again. Thank, thankless me says the insufferable sot who di won't be coming till drinks. It's called best of me. Okay. Mark my words, Ty Swin. If you conveniently forget to pay your tab this time, I'll earn you till seven L's. So he just drinks a lot and then leaves. Brother and acts all tough, but trust me, just a moment ago he was going on about how happy he was to hear you were safe. Here, this one's on the house. I hear it's your favorite. You need to worry, Ash. Old Taishwin and your master go way back, gone soft if you ask me. But back in our day, he couldn't call yourself a friend to Barda until he draw shit on you at least twice. <clears throat> Next, I consider myself fortunate that we only became acquainted more recently. But do tell, good sir, what is the story behind these coins? The remnants of some hidden treasure, mayhap? <laughs> treasure? You, you ain't in both wish, Lashy. No, I fear just a little more memento of days long past and nothing too well remembered. Back when Bardo and myself were still wet behind the arch of... Oh my god. A little grizzled a couple of young pups like us took a liking to us. Took under us under his wing as it were. It was a kindness in days when kindness was art to come by. Carried with I'm these here coins he did. See the face of the shipper. Said er for gaze watching over. I was kept in. I'm leaving. He just gets worse. <sighs> the poor bastard said he would live a good life, but the luck finally run its course. Didn't have much left behind, save his lucky coins. Coins he wanted to leave uh, a couple of young soap pups. That they might enjoy a life as long as... It tells you can tell indeed. Now perhaps you can answer the long-held question of mine, good sir. Why ever would a sellsword as renowned as Bardrum forsake his blade for a life of a glorified barkeep? <laughs> you got me... You've not heard the story? Mind ye, a detail to my slip from the memory, but I'll give it a try. It was 20 years ago, or thereabout, where the realm family at peace, or something resembling it. A great mercenary captain had a plan. Uh, this man, a living legend, if ever there was one, for all the cell swords who were itching for a new fight under one roof. So it was that the adventurous guild was born, and there were no shortage of eager apl applicants. Uh, everyone and their uncle was looking to be an adventurer. Save for one young boy, the son of a uh, very man what founded it. The boy wanted one thing, to follow his father's footsteps and make his name as the greatest sellsword who ever walked the realm. Did the boy give up his dream? Did he reckon already achieved it? Can't say it for sure, Lassie. <laughs> Only that the boy is not a man and the man standing behind the counter at the Avengers Guild, dispensing advice to young glory seeker like Igneel here. And all two old drunkards like myself. Is this true? Why would? Why that would mean better as far as on other than. I pay you up the tables not to wag your bloody tongue. Not get back to work before I throw you back in the gutter. <laughs> and, st and just when things started to get interesting. Uh oh. <clears throat> I'm 
with that, Mario and I wish I might I'd be on my way. Spend any more time around that lovely lass, and this lovely old cell road is like to get me jealous. Besides, if I empty your cast today, what will I drink tomorrow? Some of this language is a little hard to read. <coughs> okay, back to the Moogle. So, he's a famous cell sword, I guess. That's what I got from it. If it isn't my dutiful assistant, I trusted you fair well in your first assignment. Do not do tell me about it, Koopa. Well, you don't say, Burn has never been an easy customer to please. Why, he and I pull out my whiskers that one time I dropped the letter in a flagon of ale. But it sounds like you've made a fabulous first impression. As your senior, I couldn't be more pleased with your effort, and with myself, for having discovered such a talented new recruit, Koopa. But this is no time to rest on your laurels. Oh no, for each day it brings new letters, and the deliveries that wait will take you even further af afield. I dare say you might encounter clients who will make old better and look like a cuddly chocobo. But it's all in a day's work for my assist able assistant, yes? When you are looking for your next assignment, let you know where to find me, Koopa. Alright, what about a sandwich? Look at that. <clears throat> so that's the first letter. <laughs> Carrier level two. Alright. So let's see. I don't think it's a thing. I think it's just being funny. But yeah, that's, that's the first quest in the post Moogle quest line. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.